If for every player that comes in to the academy, it's very important to determine the dominant hand. Um, it's, the, the importance of the dominant hand will become apparent when we do the other skills, uh, but it's important to get that right from the very beginning. Uh, in order to do so, we go through a simple process. We go to the biomechanics. So biomechanically, which is the dominant hand. So what we do is we set up a cone with a slitter on top and we take another slitter, we give the, each player a slitter and they must try to knock the slitter off the cone. In order to do so, they must throw the, the slitter at full power and in doing so, they will pick the slitter up with their dominant hand so that they can throw it at full power and strike the cone and knock the ball off the cone. So we just catch it and we throw it and try and knock it off like that. I've now determined that this is my dominant hand and it can be your right hand or your left hand, it doesn't matter which. And then with the dominant hand, you pick up the hurley and now you have your hurley hand for hurling and the dominant hand is at the top of the hurley. Another process we use is the skimming of the stone. So going to the river, every child loves to go to the river and skim the stone on the river or skim the stone on the sea. So with a flat stone, you must imagine and visualize throwing that stone along the river, how many bounces can you get? And invariably the child wants to get more bounces than his mate, so he's going to throw it as hard as he can. So biomechanically he's going to use his dominant hand. And look at the, look at the body shape when you're doing the, the skimming of the stone on the river. And this is what you're looking for with the child, because the body shape then will become your hurling, your hurler's shape, your hurling shape. So the swivel of the hips, coming back, swivel of the hips, elbow cocked, and hands coming back, and a full throw to skim that stone on the river, okay? So this time at the highest point, and we might have a hurley coming in at the highest point, I'm gonna stop, swivel back like this at the highest point, just as I'm about to pull the trigger and throw that stone. I'm gonna hold up here, and we put a hurley into the hand, and this is the shape of the hurler, okay? And now you've determined the dominant hand, the hurley shape, the hurler shape, with the swivel of the hips, and that follow through, shoom.